and welcome to the special coverage of the Kapil Dev Grand Thornton Invitational 2023 presented by DLF. The event was held at the magnificent DLF Golf and Country Club and here we present to you the highlights of the action-packed days. ordinary gathering, there were industry captains, celebs, eminent personalities and some of India's finest golfers. The DLF Golf and Country Club and the challenging layout made for a perfect venue. The action was intense and the end was thrilling. As the name of the event suggests, this competition had a strong connection with cricket. Other than Kapil Dev, the great Indian captain and the all-rounder, Courtney Walsh, Michael Bevan, Ross Taylor, and Kevin O'Brien graced the occasion. Harbhajan Singh, Yuvraj Singh, National Selection Committee Chief Ajit Agarkar and the BCCI President Roger Binney were also in the mix on different days. Baji was of course the centre of attention. Kapil Dev is a keen golfer. He loves being outdoors. He also loves the challenges that a round of golf provides. From playing himself to showing Harbhajan how to make a putt, Kapil Dev was in full form. And he just loved being out there. अगर हम थोड़े बहुत क्रिकेटर आके दूसरी स्पोर्ट्स को हेल्प करें क्यों नहीं? क्योंकि ये गोल्फर भी हमसे ज़्यादा मेहनत करते हैं। But अगर उनको रेकग्निशन नहीं मिलता और हम उनकी हेल्प कर देते हैं, तो अच्छा लगता है। यही मैं कहूँगा मुझे ये नहीं है कि हमने गोल्फर बनना है, गोल्फर तो गोल्फर � तो मैंने कहा हम तो प्रमोट करने आए हैं और दूसरा अगर कोई फिल्म स्टार क्रिकेट खेलने आता है या क्रिकेट के मैचेस देखने आते हैं ये कुछ करते हैं हम कहते हैं कितने खुश होते हैं कि देखो हमारी खेल को प्रमोट कर रहे हैं तो अगर हरबजन आया या बाकी अजीत अगर कर आया या युवराज आ रहा है और हम तो पिछली बार धोनी इस टूर्नामेंट में आया था अगली बार सोच रहे हैं सचिन को लाएंगे हम दूसरे स्पोर्ट्स स्पोर्ट्समैन में कोई फर्क नहीं है हम सब भाई भाई हैं और अगर हम स्पोर्ट्स को प्रमोट नहीं करेंगे तो फिर अच्छा नहीं लगेगा दिस इज लाइक अ स्पोर्ट्स द फैमिली in reaching the event with his presence was mr vishesh chandiyog the ceo of grand thornton bharat Grand Thornton Bharat is a founding member firm of the Grand Thornton International Network. With over 9,000 people across 18 locations, it is India's pre-eminent consulting firm. It was a fascinating experience listening to Mr. Vishesh Chandiyok and others at the panel discussion. I wasn't aware myself. Golf originally wasn't a sport of privilege. Originally, golf was a sport meant for the commoners, a society. It's not just having gender diversity, but are you really including, are you giving time to the women, to people who come from different backgrounds and sit in your boardrooms or come play with you? And this is our attempt to leverage the halo power of cricket to try and make sport more inclusive. Also present was Kavita Singh, the president of the Women's Golf Association of India and leading Indian lady professional golfer Twesa Malik. Women took part in the Pro-Am events and made the occasion even more memorable. Mr. K.P. Singh, the chairman emeritus of DLF, was present in activities related to the competition. It was great to have him among the August gathering. In 
Industrialist Harshpati Singhania and Ratan Jindal were also involved with this tournament. The PGTI, of course, was presented by its CEO, Mr. Uttam Singh Mandi. It was very different from what one normally experiences at a golf tournament. This perfectly organized event was one to remember for different reasons. There was some top quality golf. All this happened at one of the most beautiful golf courses in India. According to many players, this is one of the toughest courses in the country. It is also one of the most picturesque. Immaculately planned and carefully designed, it challenges players to give their best. Well, sometimes great initiatives have to face unforeseen tests. The Kapil Dev Grand Thornton Invitational event had to contend with bad weather. The fog was too heavy. Visibility in the earlier part of the day was low. Well, this forced the organizers to delay the start of play on first three days. The tournament had to be curtailed to 54 holes instead of 72. This meant that the fourth round was cancelled. The players headed straight into the final round after the cut was applied at the end of round two. In the history of Tata Steel PGTI, not many events have been reduced to 54 holes. Nobody wants this to happen, but one cannot fight the weather. It was not easy. When playing schedules get disrupted, it can affect your rhythm. But the players took this in their stride and produced some superb golf. They were focused on their game instead of letting the uncontrollable get the better of them. This was a testament of the true spirit of the Tata Steel PGTI. There will be challenges, but there will also be the will to overcome those challenges. If there was going to be an edge of the sea thriller, this was it. On the pulsating and up and down last day, Karan Pratap Singh emerged the winner. It was not before some drama of the highest order. Well, it was not clear until the very end who was going to win. Rashid Khan and Sanat Bishnoi looked like clinching it. Rashid Khan was left to rue his chances. In the leading pack in the first two rounds, Rashid looked like having a great chance to win his first PGTI title of the year. There were tough situations and the players from Delhi showed exceptional skills to overcome those situations. On the last day, as the round headed towards the end, Rashid looked like having all bases covered. But then disaster struck. One under for the day with three birdies and two bogeys. Rashid looked solid until the last three holes. Then came those game-changing bogeys on the 16th and 17th. In a close contest, one error can make a huge difference. On this day, Rashid made two. They proved costly, very costly. It took his days tally to one over. It was a bit too much. What was within his grasp became distant. It faded away in a matter of a few minutes. Finishing second in a high-profile tournament is not bad. But the manner in which Rashid lost his advantage might hurt him. Then, that is golf. You pay for mistakes. And uh, he really revels in a tournament. I think that's where Rashid will come back stronger from this experience. Yeah. yeah, there was no nerve. Sanhits was also a story of so near yet so far. There was a time on the final day when he had four stroke lead. Normally, that proves decisive. But for this winner of the India Siemens Pro Championship in Chennai, that last stretch turned nightmarish. That's where he lost it. With five birdies and no bogey up to the 10th hole on the final day, Sanit was marching towards glory. He seemed to be unstoppable. Then came a passage of play which this player would like to forget. A bogey on the 12th looked like a minor blip. A player is most likely to make one on a day when the stakes are high and the pressure is mounting. But for this player playing on his home course, it kept getting worse. 
There was a double bogey on the par 4 13th. It cut away his lead. More followed. There were another bogey on the 14th. A birdie on the next hole briefly revived his hopes, but it was not going to be his day. Sanit suffered two more bogeys on the 16th and 17th hole. It completely ruined his chances. The biggest irony is, Sanit had made two bogeys in the first two rounds. And on the day on the grand finale, when he was starting at the title, he dropped six shots right at the end. It was heartbreaking, but then professional players get stronger from such experiences. Still learning his trade at this level, Sanat will bounce back, be sure about it. If the drama was difficult for the other two who finished tight second, Kevin and Steve Regal's story was different. Oh, well done, Kevin. The player from Andorra is playing his first season on the PGTI. The pigeons, uh, Kevin moved himself to five under. He was an accomplished alpine skier and took part in the Winter Olympics in 2010 and 2014. A knee fracture ended his skiing stint. And that's when Kevin decided to try his hand at professional golf. He put in a commendable performance at the tough course in trying conditions. Like Rashid and Sanhit, he returned a total score of five under. But the difference was, Kevin kept getting better instead of losing steam at the end. He started with an even par 72, took his tally to 2 under after the second round and then delivered a 3 under in round 3. Kevin was steady and had just one bogey on the final day. In the previous two rounds, he had made 6. He improved his game as the tournament progressed. The reward was a career best finish on the PGTI. The gap between the tight second and the next best lot at tight fifth was big. Abhinav Lohan, Sarthak Chibbar, Aman Raj and N Thangaraja of Sri Lanka finished with tallies of one under. You want to drive it like Tony? You got to grip it and rip it. Let the big dog eat. Put some mustard on it. Great work, everyone. A jar of mustard. Give me those Tony hips. Tony. Is he Tony. actually helping you? Tony. Just like that. Yep. Then you know. At Grant Thornton, we take the time to understand more than your business. We understand you. Let him loose, cowboy. This is Steel, and this is an idea. What happens when we join them? Something magnificent. Like the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building three times the height of the Eiffel Tower. An iconic landmark where Tata Steel's Comfloor 80 composite floor decking has played a part, making it a triumph of human inspiration. Tomorrow shaped by imagination and steel. Tata Steel, we also make tomorrow. Life with Vedika, always full of altitude. पुरानी वर्सेस नई कौन सी पेंशन स्कीम सही आपका हर सवाल सीधा होता है सरकारी नौकरी करे यानी कि देश सेवा करे उसको पैसे देने की बात आए तो गुणा भाग और अर्थव्यवस्था समझाई जाती पक्ष या विपक्ष सीधे सवालों के साथ संदीप चौधरी आपको रखे आगे सीधा सवाल रोज शाम सात बजे सिर्फ एबीपी न्यूज पर एबीपी न्यूज आपको रखे आगे They say in sports that it's not over until it's over. You fight till the end. After that, who knows? It was Karan Pratap's turn to display this. He had got off to a fine start. He was tied first after the first round with a score of 4 under 68. His second day was not as good. But he was still in second position behind Rashid after that round. Then unfolded the drama on the last day. Winner of the Tata Steel PGTI Players' Championship in Chandigarh in April. 
Karan Pratap came up with a final day card of 2 under 70 to win the championship by two strokes. He was not in lead until towards the end on the final day. Karan Pratap had to produce his A game and hold his nerve. The margin for error was minimal. He displayed nerve of steel and came up with an outstanding effort. His round featured four birdies and two bogies. Importantly, the birdies came at the most crucial stage on the 15th and 18th holes. This late surge proved decisive and tilted the balance in his favor. Karan Pratap had been in good touch, but that late push was critical. That's when he had to capitalize on the errors made by others. He did that in style in the end. A two-stroke victory was looking unlikely at one stage. It seemed that the players could be heading for a playoff. I hope we finish in time because if there's going to be a playoff, we might run out of daylight here. Yeah. But the equation changed dramatically. It was one of the most thrilling finishes of the season. So, Karan, it looks like he's going to drive away with that Toda Flavia. Fittingly, it came at one of the grandest competition and at a marvelous venue. The first the trophy presentation. The victory made him richer by 30 lakhs and lifted him to second behind Om Prakash Chauhan on the order of merit. Other than the winner's check, Karan Pratap received the winner's jacket, which was presented to him by former Indian cricketer Yuvraj Singh. It was a highly satisfying campaign for the 23-year-old from Faridabad, who was playing at his home course. He not only absorbed the pressure but also produced some top-quality stuff when it mattered. All, all this is. I mean, it's so difficult for me to sink in, and I uh, just want to thank everybody to come out and watch us play. And uh, I mean. Honestly, there is no special feeling than when winning at home, and I just want to thank my parents, uh, my friends for watching me today, and they were in the gallery uh, rooting for me, and uh, it was definitely a special feeling, you know, winning in front of them, and uh, just want to thank them all for all their for all their efforts and uh, for all the time they have put in, you know, for all these years, and uh, for making me a player who I am today, and. Uh, I just want to thank everybody here at DLF for all their support. Uh, I mean, the course was in great condition, and uh, I would I would like to appreciate the efforts of all the course management staff, uh, everybody at the Pro Shop Academy, uh, you know, for this lovely event, and uh, really had a great time. And uh, I would also like to thank uh, Kapil Kapil Paji. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you are such a. I mean. I mean, you are such an ins inspiration for all of us, and uh, it's good to see you 
you know, here playing golf and uh, keeping us all motivated. Big thanks to our tournament sponsor, Grant Thornton, for making this game, you know, even bigger in India, especially, and uh, for the prize money we were playing for, it was massive. And uh, I just want to thank everybody. To go with, there were a lot of other activities that made the four days all the more special. After the rounds, there were entertainment and some thought-provoking discussions. Indian Ocean regaled the crowd with a fantastic performance. Nothing better after a hard day of work than some lively music. This famous band gave everybody a great time. Shiv Khera engaged the audience in a way only he can. It was great to listen to him after a day filled with action and drama on the golf course. That's why we say that this was a very different event. It was not only about golf, there were so many other attractions that made the event a big draw for spectators. Swivel the hips. Hips are on a swivel. It's great work. Hmm. One lesson, I'll have you swinging it like Nelly. I am Nelly. That's the spirit. I'll get a bucket. So, Nelly. This is how you do it? Why don't we stop trying to swing it like me and swing it like you instead? At Grant Thornton, we take the time to understand more than your business. We understand you. Nope. This is steel. And this is an idea. So what happens when we join them? Something marvelous. Like cars that are lighter, more fuel efficient, yet safer. Thanks to high-perform automotive steel, which lowers CO2 emission and makes this world a better place. Tomorrow is shaped by imagination and steel. Tata Steel. We also make tomorrow. <laughs> Fruitnik Electro Plus. Rehydrate. Feel alive. काम घर में कर रहे हो या बाहर या किसी बीमारी से उबर रहे हो आप बिना जाने डिहाइड्रेट हो सकते हैं रोज जरूरत है फ्रूटनिक इलेक्ट्रो प्लस रिहाइड्रेट इसका अनोखा आर थ्री फॉर्मूला इलेक्ट्रोलाइट रिस्टोर करे ग्लाइकोजन रिप्लेनिश करे और मसल्स का तनाव कम करे तुरंत एनर्जी के साथ फ्रूटनिक इलेक्ट्रो प्लस रिहाइड्रेट Life with Vedika, always full of altitude. This grand occasion also witnessed a Pro-Am team championship. It was held on the final day. Well, there were two professionals and two amateurs in each team. Along with the PGTI pros leading Indian lady professional golfers, Vani Kapoor, Twesa Malik, Khushi Ikhani Jao, Shweta Man Singh, Hitashi Bakshi and Agriva Manral were in the list of participants. This was a unique moment. How often do you see top lady professionals, captains from the industrial world and cricketers taking part in an event with the PGTI professionals? The Kapil Dev Grand Thornton Invitational presented by DLF was one such opportunity. Other than Kapil Dev himself, cricketers who turned out at the Pro-Am Team Championship included Courtney Walsh, Kevin O'Brien and Richard Levy. They take their golf very seriously. Some of them are quite good at it. The participation of Vani Kapoor, Thwesa Malay, Khushi Khani Jao and Shweta Man Singh, Hitashi Bakshi and Agrima Manral match the male professional stroke for stroke. I think the tournament is great. Um, it's a really cool experience to play with the guys as well and have the other pros and the whole format with the amateurs. And I think... Um, 
I think it's worth considering having more formats like this. It's really fun for the pros. I think the amateurs enjoy it as well. And I think it attracts a little bit more attention to golf and makes it a little bit different, which is what everyone is looking for. So um, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, I feel like the more attention we can bring to the sport, the better it's going to get, whether it's for men or women. So anyway, however the attention comes in, you know, it always helps. The professionals and amateurs played alongside each other in this format. The team consisting of professional Chikarangapa and Gaurav Pratap Singh and amateur Sanjay Gupta and Mahavir Singh V were the winners. They had a total score of 6 under. Professionals Angar Chima and Ashok Kumar along with amateurs Vijay Thomas and Sachin Mehta finished runners-up. They were one shot behind the champions. Rosemary Muthuar and Abhinav Lohan teamed up with amateurs Arjun Nohbar and Puneet Beriwala. They finished third with a tally of two under. This contest witnessed some gripping action. Putting this event together, it takes a lot to put this event. Every small detail. I know there are a lot of people who work behind the scenes who never get uh, a pat on the backs. So I'd like to thank each and every person who's been involved in making this event a success. Um, Team PGTI, thank you. Uh, then all the referees, officials, all the event partners that we've had this week. Thank you very much. Without your support, I guess it would not be possible to put an event in place at this uh, stature. And of course, our PGTI tour partners. Thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you all again. No PGTI event is complete without the hugely popular Pro-Am. This event at the spectacular DLF Golf and Country Club was won by Sri Lankan professional N. Thangaraja and his team. They finished with a net score of 54.2. Bhupinder Singh, H.S. Chadda and Jaskaran Chadda were the amateurs in the champion team. Lady professional Hitashi Bakshi helped her team finish second with a net score of 54.5. Hitashi's team had amateurs Anu Chadda, Rohan Khattar and Amit Dhaiya. Professional Yashash Chandra MS and his team of amateurs Hitesh Makwana, Mukul Dutt and Alaisha Dutt took the third place with a net score of 55.8. It was a fantastic four days at the wonderful venue. Kapil Dev Grant Thornton Invitational 2023 presented by DLF was one of the biggest events of the Tata Steel PGTI season. There were lots of big names from different walks of life. There were musical programs, there were captivating discussions and it was all part of an initiative to promote Indian professional golf. Cut short to 54 holes because of the weather, golf was the winner at this captivating event.